Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video. This is um, the F1 Esports event qualifier uh, for the 2021 um, F1 Esports Pro Draft. Um, if you don't know about the Pro Draft, um, it's, it's a, a format where every team has to choose one driver from. Um, and through here you can qualify for it. Uh, I think this is the qualifying for the Challenger Series. And through the Challenger Series, uh, you can qualify for the Pro Draft. Um, I don't have to qualify for the Pro Draft, but I still did the event just for fun. Um, it's around Monza. You're playing as Valtteri Bottas, uh, trying to win, or at least finish second in the in the race. Um, but obviously, if you want to go as fast as possible, you will uh, eventually end up winning uh, the race, which we did. And here is my run for the event um, around Monza. So yeah, the goal is to finish second position or higher. Um, but if you go as fast as possible, you will end up uh, winning the race. Um, you'll be catching up Lewis Hamilton in P2 and then Charles Leclerc for the win. Um, as you can see, you have, you have quite a lot of fuel for only seven laps, 1.54 laps extra fuel. So you can basically push it all the way. You start with 100% ERS as well. so. Um, you can just basically push as hard as possible, um, especially mediums, they're, qu they're quite fresh medium, I think you started with 10% tire wear. Um, let's see, we're four and a half seconds behind Hamilton starting off, um, but they are on the hard compound of tire, and especially after the, the Ferrari has been nerfed, the Ferrari engine, um, you're going to be catching up Leclerc even faster. Um, but yeah. You can see here already tr just through the last modes and the, and the second you gain, we gain around one second. Um, so yeah, very good start. Um, I think it's opening lap is a 124 or 5. Because you're quite on the limit through Ascari. As it's easy to lose the rear with low downforce. Um, I, I can't remember exactly what, what the lap time was going to be. I think it's uh, a 20.4 or 5. And to overtake Hamilton at the right moment, you have to do two 120.5s in a row, or um, a 20.4 and a 20.6. You see, we do a 20.5, so we're going to at least have to do a 20.5 again to catch up Hamilton at the right moment. But at the same time, you don't want to be using too much overtake um, and want to save it catching Leclerc or pulling away from Leclerc. But there's one thing about the AI I noticed in this event is that that. Um, when you get within two seconds, they tend to use a lot of ERS, which makes it a little bit harder to get within the DRS range. Uh, as you will see now, we gained a lot of time just going through that chicane, and through the last mode as well, we will gain quite a bit of time as well, simply because we're on fresh mediums compared to old hearts. But now you'll see in the straight, the gap tends to open up, and that's just because they um, use a lot of overtake. There's quite a lot of battery power to try and keep the gap open and so that you can get into the DRS basically. You can see we go purple purple through sector 1 and 2. We're quite quite okay with battery levels. Um, the goal is that um, on the back straight coming out of Lesmo 2 is that we will have DRS. So then we have to be within one second. Um, so I think we have to use a little bit of energy power coming out of the first chicane to get that. Uh, as you can see we do another 20.5 and which is what was the aim so we can get DRS on the back straight and then overtake him on this straight on the next lap see you to try and not cut a corner because if you get a cut if you cut a corner then your score will be completely uh, destroyed basically because um, it takes a lot of your score away uh, which is not what we want if you want to qualify see now winning 1.3 seconds which is good because we're gonna gonna gain a lot of time through here uh, as you can see, we're within a second now. He's still going to use a lot of ERS to try and s pull out again. Um, but we're well within uh, the one second range now. Um, and we're going to get DRS right here so we can catch up to him, uh, up to Ascari, and then pass him on the main straight. Um, we used a lot, of, a lot of fuel already. We can, because you simply, uh, it's almost impossible to run out. Um, you also have to cool the engine, so uh, that way you gain a bit of fuel back. So yeah, we're quite quite good with uh, energy power, still 72%. Heading 
through here. We're gonna have to use definitely a lot of overtake to pass Hamilton, uh, simply because uh, it's Mercedes versus Mercedes, and they're just fast and straight. As you can see, we put a personal best of 120.3. Uh, my goal was to get to the finish as fast as possible and not uh, get a very good lap time, which boosts your score. As you can see, we go wide, very wide in here. Um, but we managed to keep quite decent momentum. Uh, we still have a lot of energy power. As you can see, we use it straight away here. And now we're just going to easily pull away from Hamilton. Um, once you get past them, they won't use that much uh, overtake anymore. So I don't think it will be too difficult to pull away from them. Um, so yeah, if you, if you put a very fast lap, like put all your overtake uh, into one lap, um, then it will boost your score significantly. Even if your time is a bit slower, it will going for a fast lap will boost your score more. Uh, but that's not our, my plan here. My plan is to get to the finish as fast as possible um, and not care about the score. So as you can see, Leclerc three seconds ahead. Um, I think we started off with 13, 13 or 14 seconds. Uh, so you can see that Ferrari has really been nerfed. Um, after the update. So we're not going to use overtake here. We, g we want to use it after turn one as we go faster again at 120.2. Um, so yeah, looking good so far. No major mistakes, a few small mistakes. I think uh, the one that cost me the most was uh, when I overtook Hamilton into turn one, where I went a bit wide and missed the apex. Um, but yeah, I tend to use the overtake out of turn one uh, out of turn two, I mean, uh, every time. Now the goal is to get within Leclerc's DRS by the time we reach uh, the main straight. So going through, you can see the rear stepping out a bit, so the tires are getting older. And uh, now we are within 1.2 seconds. And again, when we got within two seconds, Leclerc started using a lot of DRS. So it's not easy catching up to them. I mean, it's a bit easier than catching up to Hamilton, uh, simply because they have a lot less engine power now. So you don't get uh, punished as much um, when you get within that two seconds. I mean, eventually they run out as well. But as you can see here, we're gonna have to use a lot less uh, energy power than passing Hamilton. You see, I don't even use any overtake here. We're just gonna try and benefit from the slipstream here, which we do. I mean, he's probably using a lot of overtake, but we have the DRS and the momentum to get past. Uh, we're saving the battery for the last two laps and get as fast as possible to finish this race. So yeah, uh, Hamilton probably gonna catch up to Leclerc, I guess. Um, Leclerc already lost, I think, 14 or 15 seconds, seconds in just the four laps we've been doing this race, so they are looking extremely slow at the moment. Um, and yeah, we're easily going to beat the challenge, but now the goal is just to um, beat everyone on the leaderboard, basically. Uh, I think there are two hackers, maybe three on there. Um, so they are going to be like 10 seconds faster, but we don't look at those, we look at the, the people uh, that put the legit times. I think the fastest at the moment is George Idowu. Um, definitely a future Avon Esports driver. Um, I think we have Tomek Poracis, if I said it right. I probably that don't. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, there are a lot of uh, uh, really fast guys trying to get into Avon Esports doing this event. Uh, at the moment, I think the fastest is a 39.3 overall time, um, if I remember correctly. Uh, also, another person is uh, Revo, um, uh, who did the event, uh, or his real name is Ethan, um, who is our test driver uh, for Alfa Romeo Racing Orland. Uh, I think he's second at the moment on the leaderboard, uh, if I remember correctly, um, doing a 39.5 can't remember it exactly, but um, yeah, a lot of uh, fast people on there trying to get to the pro draft. Um, pro draft is a great way to to get into F1 esports, especially with the level getting higher and higher. I think it's getting more tough to um, 
get into F1 Esports outside of the Pro Draft. Um, so definitely a good good way to step into F1 Esports. Uh, as you can see, we've already pulled the gap to Leclerc to 1.3 seconds, uh, 5.3 seconds, sorry. Um, and Hamilton catch up to him by now. Uh, as we look to use all of our ERS on the last lap, of course. Um, and have nothing left by the time we get to the finish. We, we've almost depleted our fuel as well. We're on down to 0 0.4 uh, laps extra as we put a 20.4, which I think is quite good uh, nearing the end of the race. We've been very consistent so far. Uh, obviously, some laps are going to be faster with DRS and ERS usage, uh, but that is needed to um, pass Hamilton and Leclerc at the right time. You need you want to use the ERS power and fuel. Uh, at the right time to get past them as smooth as possible without using too much uh, ERS and without getting held too much by by them. Um, yeah, by now you probably feel the tires going off a little bit, but um, at the same time you gain the time back by the car getting lighter. Um, so yeah, this last section might be a bit slower, but um, the rest uh, of the track might be a bit faster with braking and uh, um, acceleration. You're going here through now. Um, we have no uh, track limit warnings. We're looking good with fuel, so we're just going to keep it in rich. Uh, I'm going to use all of the ERS available on the exit here. As you can see, we're pushing to the limits, taking a short line on the way to the finish and that's a 20.2 last lap which I think is really good um, so take a sip of my water <laughs> uh, so yeah this was this is the fastest run uh, on the leaderboard so far uh, and 38.7 so I think that's six tenths faster than anyone else at the moment uh, I don't really look at score that much, 38.7 as you can see, but if you want to qualify the score is very important. But even though we didn't put that uh, that fast of a lap I would say, we still got the higher score. Um, but yeah, putting a very one fast lap is going to boost your score significantly. And that simply will help you qualify for the pro draft. Um, but as you can see there, uh, George Idawu, the fastest after us, uh, I think the guy in P4 is cheating as well, I'm quite sure considering how weird his score is and how slow his lap, lap time is. But yeah, top two people are clearly cheating. Um, so yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed. And see you guys next time.